Hey, welcome everybody. We're here to talk about taxes and how roads are paid for. There's a lot of misconceptions about who's actually paying for the roads. You often hear an argument that says that cyclists don't pay for roads and therefore don't deserve to have a place on the road. So let's get into this. From several sources, you can find that the taxes and fees that are paid by automobile users uh, only accounts for about a half to a third of the actual revenue that's generated in order to pay for these roads. The rest of the revenue that pays for roads happens to come from general taxes, the taxes that we all pay. Taxes such as sales taxes, property taxes, things like that. Just the general taxes that we all have to pay. Let's break this down by how much tax is paid by motorists and cyclists. So I'm going to use Utah as an example since that's where I live. So in Utah, we have a, a combined tax rate of... 47.8 cents per gallon of gas. That is combined between the state and the federal tax. The sales tax where I live is 7.1%. So in order to break that down, we're going to assume that your car gets around 20 miles per gallon. Now it may get more, it may get less. And then we're going to also assume that a cyclist consumes 50 calories per mile. So to make all of that easier, we're just going to go on a 20 mile ride or 20 mile drive. To go 20 miles, a cyclist is gonna need roughly a thousand calories. So if we buy a Big Mac meal at McDonald's, it's roughly a thousand calories. The price of the Big Mac meal is around $6. That uh, with a sales tax of 43 cents. So now we can see that the the tax rate charged to both users is pretty close to the same. So you have fuel tax to go 20 miles uh, in a car is 48 cents and the sales tax paid by the cyclist for the Big Mac meal to go 20 miles is 43 cents. Okay, so we have proven through this simple math exercise that cyclists are contributing to the tax base used for road building and maintenance. So if you're traveling through life believing you're suffering an injustice due to cyclists occupying a general purpose lane or bike lanes are reducing your access, just stop and realize we're all traveling through life with our own struggles. And to the cyclists, when this argument arises, try to avoid stating that I own a car, mainly because our rights to road is in no way tied to any single one of us owning a car. It almost leaves those living a car-free lifestyle out of the argument. So share the links that I've listed in the description and insist that people do their own research on how roads are paid for. Thanks for watching and subscribe and have a great day. We'll catch you in the next video.